Emergency room doctors have some interesting stories about their patients, and an ER doc from Naperville has some especially good ones. But his greatest story is from a whole other continent. And you can read about Dr. Sudip Bose's story in today's edition of the Daily Herald. Bert Constable from the Herald is here to tell us more. This guy treated Saddam Hussein? Yes. Uh, How have we not heard about this before? You know, it has been written about and reported, but he just doesn't make a big deal out of it. Right. Um, Part of it is he talks about, you know, doctor-patient confidentiality, and, you know, he just doesn't name who he's treated over the years. He's just like another guy. But, and for the record, he deserves a ton of praise and for all the work he did, you know, helping not only U.S. soldiers, coalition forces in Iraq, et cetera. Um, he's got some really difficult stories to tell from over there. Yeah, one of the stories he told that uh, I could tell was very emotional for him. He said he had a, a, a friend that he had breakfast with that morning. They had a great breakfast. And then a couple hours later, that man was killed by snipers. Mm -hmm. And he had to pronounce him dead on the street. And then he said 20 minutes later, the guy who shot him had been wounded and he had to treat him. And so he said, you just treat everybody the yeah, same. Not too dissimilar from the stories you hear over at Stroger Hospital here of, you know, you have shooter and shooty coming into the hospital and doctors are trained, don't make the distinction. Right, and that's exactly what he said. He, he you know, now he works at uh, hospitals in the States doing routine emergency room and right. some unusual ones, but they're all the same. But did he give you any details about treating Saddam Hussein? No, not really. He said they were in a room together for eight to 10 hours and he treated him, and that was about it. Wow, yeah. Very, and treated him like any other patient, he said. Yes, he did. Uh, and let's get to now how he's uh, enjoying a, a turn of fame. He's on TV. Yes, uh, he's on a show called Untold Stories of the uh, ER, and he's dealing with cases. Two cases are highlighted. One is an exotic dancer who gets a stiletto heel through her cheek during a fight <laughs> with another dancer. And then a, a man in a convertible who hits a cow, and it's not a pleasant scene, and he deals with that. Or, or pleasant smell <laughs> when he gets no. to the ER. And so what, this TV show just follows ER docs around the hospital, and these cases happen to come in while they were No, filming, it's, it's reenacted. They, uh, reenacted. they found someone, you know, they found these stories, and then they set them up. And, and that was funny, too. He talked about how the actors and the writers and the camera people, he said it's just the same as in the war zone where everybody comes together, everybody focuses on their job, and you get it done. Very interesting. Bert Constable's story is in today's editions of the Daily Herald. You can also read it online at dailyherald.com. Thanks, Bert. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you.